Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a collective general um, love reading, I just got called to say. Um, I wasn't quite sure um, before I got on camera whether I was just going to tap into the general energies or if I was going to go into more love-based messages, but I just got told instantly to do love, okay? So it's going to be another love reading here with how does your love interest feel about you? How do you feel about them? What's potentially going on with the connection, etc. Um, so yeah, this will be a timeless reading. So it's whenever you come across this reading, it's where it's most likely to resonate for you and not necessarily just when I post the video. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, please don't be overly concerned by that as there may still be messages in here for you. So yeah, we're using the Modern Witch Tarot as we uh, always do, guys. But I want to find out what's going on for love. Okay, I just got told to spritz the area. Okay, so we've got our lovely uh, smudge spray. I use it before every reading um, to kind of clear the energy, what have you. Look at that. The star just came through. Aquarius energy and temperance. Sagittarius, Aquarius placements may be significant for your sun, moon, rising or Venus here or maybe someone you're dealing with. Oh, my ear just got really itchy. Okay, you've been feeling, um, oh gosh, that was like a weird humming noise in my ear. Just like, that was weird what just happened. Okay, so <clears throat> you, you've been feeling that someone wants to be back in your life and that they want to come forward and oh my effing goodness. No wonder I felt like all itchy and weird and like ugh, four of wands. <laughs> 11 11 coming through, soulmate, twin flame, reunion, union. I just heard they want this just as much as you do, okay? They want to be beside you just as much as you want to be beside them. Look at that, the fool. And again, the four of wands. Aries, we have Aries season coming up like. In a matter of days like a week now i believe and i feel like the spring energy is really going to spring us more into love okay so there's someone who's like they want to take a risk but a calculated one but they're going to take a risk this person wants you to know i am in in this with you oh my goodness okay the six of pentacles with the ace of cups this person is coming in to show you love something more balance between the two of you this person wants to be very generous with their love and in other ways as well with that knight of wands wink wink <laughs> it takes everything with the strength card to hold back these kind of passions here and i'm so sorry for my really bad wink guys i can't wink to save my life i'm not really good at all of that um but yeah, definitely hint, hint, wink, wink. Somebody wants to make sure that you're you're happy, you're satisfied, okay? Yeah, somebody's very, very nervous with that nine of wands, okay? But look, this person with the devil and the nine of wands, they are <sighs> frustrated, okay? You'll get what I mean. You'll get what I mean, okay? What else? Capricorn placements could be significant. What else here, please? Sagittarius again coming through with judgment. Yeah, expect communication from this person relatively soon to come back into your life here. Um, yeah, look at that. The moon energy could be significant with Pisces. Um, <clears throat> Something could be cleared up by the next full moon or the next new moon that we have coming up, a, a cycle closing out, something being made clear to you in regards to how somebody feels and how they feel with the Six of Cups is that they can't forget you, okay? Yeah, this person has been dreaming of you. They can't stop dreaming of you. You could potentially be dreaming of this person quite heavily as well. But with the two of wands, because this person hasn't really been that present in your life, you've been just continuing on making plans for yourself. And whatever brings you that sense of fulfillment in your life brings you peace in your life with that four of wands. I feel like you're not necessarily not 
you know, I feel like you're not necessarily like happy without them, but you would be happier with them, but you've had to learn how to be as content or happy as possible without them. But look at that Ace of Cups. This person is coming in to show you that they have a lot of love and care for you, that they want to bring peace and harmony to you. And that's what they've been thinking of doing for the longest of time. As I say that, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Okay. All new energy with that Aries uh, kind of coming out, that, that full energy coming out. Okay. Moving on to Karma Waters here with the Six of Swords. Overcoming whatever obstacles with the chariot. By the time cancer season rolls round, I feel like you guys will be in a pretty serious commitment or like you just started dating or something. I reckon. That's what I reckon anyway. What else? King of Wands. Oh, hello. Four of Wands, like I said. <laughs> Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. This person is working on whatever they can right now to get their life in order so that there's no effing about with you. Um, that they can just bring you the sense of solidarity and peace because they want to work together on this here with the Three of Pentacles. They want a firm foundation in place for you both. Again, Knight of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, Six of Cups. What else do they want? What else? The Hierophant, guys. This could be someone you end up marrying. This is this is someone you could end up marrying. This is this is potentially this is I'm getting most likely or is your future spouse. Yeah, Queen of Cups. This person's truly going to love you, care for you. They're going to show up every day with that eight of pentacles this person and yourself are going to be able to leave the past in the past this person wants to have you know that they're not going anywhere once they turn up okay this person has been having fear and their ego get in the way of manifesting of this connection with you here with the magician but now Things are changing up and they're coming in. Definitely something manifesting around the moon cycles, like I just said a few moments ago. Okay. So what what else do you what do you want with this? Do you want this person as well? I just heard I just heard a big fat yes. Okay, <laughs> with the Empress. Divine Feminine and Taurus Libra, a big fat yes. Yeah, look at that with the tower. It's like <sighs> yeah king of cups this person's going to be stunned because they may feel on some level like this with you is too good to be true as i often say that with the nine of cups but that's not the case it's not too good to be true you're not this kind of made up fantasy in this person's mind okay that's the truth you're the real deal here with the ace of swords i mean how many aces have we seen in this reading already this person is absolutely crazy about you absolutely crazy about you this person's going to speak their truth and tell you how they feel what else any other closing messages this is only going to be a short reading anyway guys any other closing messages those wanted to show through the person this person has held back from you with the empress and the four of uh, pentacles and the eight of swords because of previous trauma and hurt that they've experienced before and they would hate to come forward towards you and feel like you were just going to kind of go, oh, thanks, but no thanks, and entertain someone else. Or if you were to start kind of dating of this person and getting into a more solid commitment that later on down the line, um, that you will end up leaving this person or juggling them with someone else. And this is something that they're trying to heal and recognize that if this is something that has happened to them previously, they then they get a lot like triggered in regards to relationships and that's why they've stayed single for so long here with the nine of pentacles and just worked on building their finances or going up the career ladder 
this person's like, no, I, I would like to be with someone, okay? As I think say that with the King of Cups, I would love to be with someone and have that person, you know, love me just as much as I love them. Because this person is just enamored with you, right? Any other final messages? This person knows how intuitive you are. Any other final messages? Three of Cups. This person wants to get together. They want to celebrate your connection. Also, they know that you're going to have questions for them in regards to a third party situation, regardless of whether that's uh, romantic or not. You'll just want to know more about their life and how certain things that may have kind of played out. How does it all kind of add up? They know that you're very switched on. What else? Are the final messages? This person just wants to have some real quality time with you. OK, absolutely. Maybe go away on a trip together, a little holiday, a little break. I just, I just saw a, um, a do not disturb sign on the back of a hotel door, okay? So you don't have housekeeping kind of walking in the morning, okay? Yeah, look at that with the, <clears throat> with the page of cups, yeah. So if somebody, wants to make sure that you're not going to be disturbed as they show you how they feel about you. I'm hearing I can show you better than I can tell you, okay? The fall again. <laughs> this, this person is all about you, as I think say that with the King of Cups. So, yeah, look at that just flew out. Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. You've got it going on, guys. I'm reading energy rather than gender or sex, as you know, but this person doesn't want you to be single for much longer and they want to be the one that that takes you out okay takes you off the market makes you theirs okay because they know i feel like they know that you could have anyone that you want and i feel on some level you know that about them too that they could have anyone that they want but i feel like even though you both have got options or people that are interested your eyes are only really for each other and bringing balance and harmony into this connection. Look with the star and the uh, six of pentacles. That's what you both truly wish for is that everything's all right with you both. Any other final messages before I close out this reading? Anything else? This person wants to tell you why they held back. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands with the Lovers, Gemini Energy. This person is going to travel to see you, communicate with you, um, express, all, express, <laughs> express all their desire for you, okay? Um, yeah, as I say, that breaking up the deck with the Knight of Cups and Ace of Wands. This person, this person wants you really, really badly, okay? As in, like, immediately. <clears throat> But they know that they have to take things slowly with you. But they're definitely in their head about it. Final messages. Two more cards. Oh, I just had three. Okay, three more cards. The world. Beautiful. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius coming through. This person may reach out to you online or something. Something involving social media. King of Pentacles. <clears throat> They're going to follow through with what they say that they're going to do. They're not just going to kind of say nice words and then kind of leave you hanging or anything like that. One last card. That's the truth with the Ace of Swords. And the Ten of Effing Cups. Yeah, this person's here to stay. But I feel like you knew that all along, didn't you? Look at that break up the deck with the Emperor. You knew that all along though, didn't you? You're not mad, you're not crazy, you're not Delulu. You're the effing empress or emperor. Anything else or was that it? Oh, hello, all these cards wanting to jump out. <laughs> and what jumped out? The magician, the knight of cups and the, mag um, the high priestess. If I, wow, I can't even talk, guys. 
What's manifesting is movement. This person wants to sweep you off your feet. This person really wants to date you and not just date you, you know, for the sake of dating you. Like they want to rebuild this connection with you. Okay. So expect something, but don't expect it at the same time. But you already kind of know here because you've got double divine feminine coming through. <clears throat> so yeah, this is going to be really beautiful when you and this person, I feel like you haven't got anything to worry about. You know, it has, has not been easy. <clears throat> it's been a bit stressful. But the secret is, is that they have these deeper feelings for you and that they just wish that they knew, they knew um, how you felt about them sooner on some level. Maybe they felt like you were lying to them about wanting something more serious with them but that's not true you've always wanted something more serious with them one more card i got told so we can close this off please yeah this person was just so fearful with the five of pentacles and the seven of swords okay that if you were to get together that it, everything would just fall apart and it would be even more heartbreaking or more painful than what you had, you know, previously experienced. Or like if it was to happen any sooner, um, there could have been potentially more harm done than not. But you're not going to be single for much longer and nor is this person. OK, they're strategizing right now on how to um, figure out what they want with this connection. But you already know what they want. They already know what they want. But you just haven't necessarily discussed it with each other yet. And that's coming in relatively soon, as I feel like you guys already know, because you guys are very tapped in. But anyway, guys, that's all the messages I'm kind of picking up on for you. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of impromptu kind of quick read um, to find out a little bit more to do with your connection here, guys. So if you have enjoyed this reading and you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links available. So thank you so much to those of you who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. If you did wish to donate, there's a link in the description box below for PayPal for the channel. And the other option is super thanks. So thank you so much, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, even if you don't financially donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I love reading the comments and uh, with you doing of this, it allows me to tap in more with the energy and kind of pick up on more specific messages for you. So thank you as it helps out, us out with the channel and you, uh, you guys as well. Guys, whew, sorry if I keep repeating myself. I don't know what's going on here. Um, Please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you. And last but not least, thank you to my members. Um, you guys mean a great deal to me. And if you wish to be a member, there's a link in the description box below with all the information that you need. So sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Have a wonderful weekend if you're seeing this at the weekend. And uh, oh, yeah, of course, obviously. Um, happy birthday, Pisces, as well. So happy belated birthday to you if you've already had your birthday. And if you've got your birthday coming up relatively soon or if it's today, happy birthday. <laughs> um, but yeah, sending love and light your way. Many blessings. Please take care and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.